Hello there, I am Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and it's so fantastic to be back with you on my return from San Diego in California uh, to give a presentation on improving the sound of your podcast at Social Media Marketing World 2018. If you'd like to get the virtual ticket to that conference, it was absolutely superb, by the way, you can head over to mrc.fm slash smmw. Uh, So I'm going to cover over the next uh, three days uh, a few pointers that I covered in my presentation, uh, particularly for you if you were there or if you got to see my session and you wanted to deep dive into what I was meaning when I was describing all these terms, I thought I'd give you uh, a few practical displays of things you can do. And in this particular live show today for Monday, I'm going to cover three noise reduction tips for podcast post-production. And I covered them at Social Media Marketing World. Uh, One was the downward expander. Two was the noise gate, and number three, noise reduction, if all else fails. So this clip of a podcast is quite noisy. Let's hear it. Stuart is a self-described ad avoider. So I'm just going to normalize that, but you can hear a lot of hiss in the background. So different ways you can do this. Effects, amplitude and compression, and then we'll go into dynamics. And I am using ticked expander. That is a downward expander. Stuart is a self-described ad avoider. So we need to get this set up. Stuart is a self-described ad avoider who acknowledges that disruptive digital channels and push marketing can be annoying. In this conversation, he describes how benevolent marketing, that is inbound marketing, can help pharma companies achieve better results for their brand. So as you can hear, it's kind of pushing the audio down in volume every time there's a long pause or silence. Not quite what we're looking for because it's chopping up the audio, making it sound terrible. Let's try a noise gate instead. Here on the Dynamics Effect in Audition CC 2018, there's an auto gate. Stuart is... And we'll need to Stuart. move that threshold up a bit. Stuart is a self-described ad avoider. Again. Still not quite what we're looking for because it's chopping in and out. Uh, So I'm going to run a bit of noise reduction. That's if all else fails and you've got terrible noises in the background, you can run noise reduction. Now, the best news is the two methods I have just demonstrated are not useless uh, because once we've run noise reduction, we might want to bring them back in and use them after the noise reduction. So first of all, I'm going to capture a bit of the noise print. That's there. And we'll go into noise reduction restoration, capture noise print. That's okay. Double click, select everything, and we're going to go into noise reduction process and see what difference it makes. Stuart is a self described ad avoider who acknowledges that disruptive digital channels and push marketing can be annoying. Okay, so that's really not too bad, is it, uh, in terms of noise reduction? Now I can go in and bring out any background noise that's left in. If I normalize it, let's listen to it. Yep, there's a little bit of digital kind of glitchiness there that we just don't need. So now after running noise reduction process, I can go into amplitude and compression dynamics. I can add on a noise gate. Stuart is a self-described ad avoider who acknowledges that disruptive digital channels and push marketing can be annoying. In this conversation... And then my downward expander. Stuart is a self-described ad avoider who acknowledges that disruptive digital channels and push... So a great way of reducing background noise and keeping the audio sounding as clean as possible on your podcast. Uh, We go to this. Stuart is a self-described ad avoider. From the original. Stuart is a self-described ad avoider. So there you go. Three tips to reduce noise in your podcast. If you would like the whole podcast production process taken off your head. Head over to musicradiocreative.com forward slash podcast dash production. We have a team here at Music Radio Creative that can help. Uh, We've got professional radio trained producers who know how to make your podcast sound amazing. And we'll always assign just one producer to work with you one-on-one throughout the production of your podcast, whether that's a week, a month, a year, every single day. Uh, Check it out, and uh, we'd love to work with you. Musicradiocreative.com forward slash podcast dash production.